dear Flora, Finn and Henry, this is the story of the very first Christmas. A long time ago, God sent an angel called Gabriel to the town of Nazareth in Israel. A young woman lived there called Mary, and the angel had a very important message for her. She was going to have a baby, and he was to be called Jesus, because he was the Son of God. Mary was very excited and told the angel, let it happen just as God said. Mary was going to be married to a young man called Joseph. She loved him very much. When he found out about the baby, he didn't understand it, and he was sad. He decided he was not going to marry Mary. That night, Joseph had a dream. He saw an angel who told him it was okay for him to marry Mary. The baby she was having was God's son and he would be called Jesus and save people from their sins, just as God promised long ago to the prophet Isaiah. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel had told him and married Mary. They both loved each other very much and were really happy about having God's special baby boy. Before Mary had baby Jesus, a ruler called Augustus wanted to count all the people in his kingdom. Mary and Joseph had to be counted as well. They needed to travel to a city called Bethlehem. They set off early one morning because the city was a long way from Nazareth. They travelled on a donkey together. It took Joseph and Mary quite a few days to reach the city of Bethlehem. By the time they arrived, both of them were very tired, and it wasn't long before Mary would have their baby. As they entered the city, they saw many people who had all come to be counted. Everyone was looking for a place to stay. Joseph wondered where they would find a place to rest before the baby was born. Every room in the city was full with visitors, and Mary and Joseph could not find anywhere to stay. They knocked on doors and asked everywhere, but nobody had a room for Mary and Joseph. Not even the inn had a place. But then, just as they were getting very worried, the innkeeper told them they could shelter in the place by the inn where the animals lived. That night baby Jesus was born and Mary wrapped him in warm cloths and put him in a manger. Mary and Joseph cried with happiness because this baby was God's gift of love to them and to the world. Nearby, on a hill, another exciting thing was happening. An angel was telling a group of shepherds that the Saviour, Jesus Christ, was born in Bethlehem and to go and see him. After the angels had finished speaking, the sky was filled with lots and lots of beautiful angels, all praising God. As soon as the angels left, the shepherds went down to Bethlehem and found Mary, Joseph and Jesus. They were so happy to see this special baby, who was God's son. When they'd seen him, they went to tell everyone the good news that Jesus was born. A long, long way from Bethlehem, some wise men were following a beautiful, bright star in the sky. They knew a very special king was going to be born soon, and the star was going to lead them to him. The wise men followed the star day and night, until at last it came to the place where Mary, Joseph and Jesus lived. Then they gave Jesus gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, and worshipped him. And this blessed boy became a man, and as God's son, he brought peace, hope and love to the world 
by living and dying on the cross for us. Therefore, we often call Jesus Christ the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, our Saviour and Friend, and remember his birth every Christmas.